All right. So we'll quickly cover um, notifying the user of that probed position. All right. A little bit more Python here. I'll go ahead and stop the program, and we'll alt-tab back over to the actual file we wrote. And I'm going to start off with the most basic thing, notify and uh, probed position is plus, what do we call it, value, right? And let's see what we get there. Ha, <laughs> we got a syntax error. <laughs> let's convert it to a string. So here we see the probe position here. This is uh, maybe quite a little gobbledygook here. We can see the probe position. We have an X, a Y, a Z value, A, B, C values, and then the user frame that's active, and then it tells you what the object of the object is, called a pose object. <clears throat> the notify command and uh, the pose object and the probing command are all defined here in our programming language documentation, but I'll skip to the chase because this is a short video. We're going to make a minor improvement here. Let's say I only want to show the Z position. I'm going to say value.z. It's a pro pose object and I can access just the Z position by taking the Z component of it. So let's give that a shot, see if it's any better. And uh, oh yeah, I'm going to change this uh, um, warning equals true, that'll stop the program while the uh, notify pop-up is up. So, see if this looks any bit more readable. Yeah, probed position is 152. All right. So now we have the robot probing the uh, work surface and reporting a Z position to the user. Let's go ahead and throw in a count. We want to know how many times it's done that. Uh, this count could apply to probing, but really it could apply to anything, how many widgets you've welded up or how many times you've picked something and moved it somewhere else. So looking back at the Python code here, I think a lot of people would think we just do uh, you know, something along the lines of count equals zero, and then after it did it, we'd say count plus equals one. Of course, this isn't going to work because every time we run our main loop, that count's going to get bonked back to zero. So what I'm going to do here is before the main loop, I will define that count variable to be zero. And then in here, I got to use a little special Python command global count and then count plus equals one. So this means every time we start the program, it'll get set to zero. Every time we successfully probe something, we will add one to our count. And then I'll go ahead and modify my little text to the operator. I'll say probed, what is it? It's the Z position that we're displaying now. Number, and we'll do plus str count. So count is uh, a number, but I'm changing it to a string. And then we got the rest of our stuff already in here. Let's see what we get with that. Probe C position number one is 152. Probe Z position number two is 152. I think you get the idea. Coming up, let's save these values off to a comma-separated values file so we could do something useful with the data.